Methylation. What is methylation? What is methylation? How do we test for methylation? How do I know about this? Hmm? Why is this important? We are going to dive into this today. First, let's talk about how to test for methylation. This is a question I get all the time. I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert. I'm author of the books, The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon where they teach you how to eat for your hormones and your cycle. I'm also host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution. You can subscribe to that as well as subscribe here on my YouTube channel. And then, um, I also have, you know, other social media channels and things where you can follow me or ask me questions as well. Now, when we talk about methylation, this is sort of a buzzword. People talk about methylation issues or MTHFR. And this is a genetic SNP, MTHFR, right? This is stands for a genetic, I know it looks like something else. <laughs> but it stands for a genetic SNP. Now, when we look at testing for methylation issues in general, this is the most common one people talk about having, having MTHFR. You have that genetic difference that your body does not process or methylate well. So you have to accommodate for that. We will talk about how to do that in just a minute. This is not the only one though. So how do you know if you have this? Genetic testing, right? Genetic testing. My favorite genetic test to use and to get is called 3x4 genetics. Um, I have information on that on my website as well. Great thing about genetic testing is that you only need to have it done once in your whole life. You can get your genetics uh, tested at one years old or 100 years old. It's gonna be the same, it's gonna be the same. So I love this company because they do provide very secure and helpful information. <laughs> on your genetics. Uh, but finding out if you have this path, this SNP is helpful. This is not the only one. There are other ones, but um, this is also another one, MTRR and then COMT. These are other genetic SNPs you can have that actually impact your body's ability to methylate well. So genetic testing is one thing that we can look at. The other thing is you can get some other testing done either through serum or urine. And this is why I love Dutch testing. This is why I love utilizing Dutch test because it actually shows us, I'm gonna show you here on this sample, on this sample right here, this is showing us the methylation activity of estrogen. Why is this so important? Why do we need to know um, what methylation is and everything? Because it tells us how our body is processing things. Uh, methylation is a process that happens uh, billions of times uh, per second in every cell of the body, right? Um, it is essentially a methyl group transferred, donated between different molecules. This uh, changes the structure, it changes the function. Again, this is every system in your body has this process happen without you even knowing or feeling it, right? But um, a lot of times people will notice they feel tired. They have weight gain, weight loss resistance. They have um, hormone issues, right? They have these uh, irregularities, right? Where you feel like, gosh, I'm doing all these healthy things. Oh, but what's wrong? Why do I not have energy? Why am I not building muscle? Why am I not having these things happen, um, you know, with my body? You're, you might not be methylating well. So we can see how your body is processing those hormones right there on the Dutch test. And we can know if you're methylating well or not. Yeah, this is so, so, so helpful. Um, now, when this methyl group, you know, is, is transferred and everything, it actually helps turn these genes on or off, right? And again, this helps you regulate mood, it helps detoxify hormones, which we see exactly on that Dutch test, produce energy, promote healthy aging, and more. So vitamins, minerals, amino acids from your diet, from your daily nutrition are needed to help this process keep going and running smoothly. Um, and, and if you're not processing enough vitamins, for example, if you're not a good methylator, you have to intake methylated vitamin B12 for your body to have enough vitamin B12. Does Dutch test for B vitamins? It sure does. I'm so glad you asked. It sure does. <laughs> um, so when we look at this and what methylation does again, it is needed to create DNA and RNA to regulate your 